So there was a request about mounting the garage door in a shipping container. So there's no wood, so you're not going to nail it. So let me back up. This is a standard two car garage door from the 70s. I took it off an old house, took it apart and brought it over here. So everything that you see is the original stuff from that garage door. It was mounted to a wood frame garage, fabricated how to mount it into the shipping container garage. So everything has to be, well, you can either drill it or weld it. So I'm going to start over here on the side. It's about as far away as I can get. So this is a container wall. <clears throat> if you were in your garage, stick garage, this would be like 2x4, two 2x6, two whatever. And then your standard run for your garage door. And the way they do it is there's a piece of plate and it makes an L bracket and they screw it into the wood. So what I did is I had this C channel. This was left over from building my house. My house is made out of the steel. And so I'll show you on the outside, but so this was just welded along the outside edge here to secure it. And then it just mounts with a screw on the runs. So those runs, that's the transition from straight up to the curve. And then it runs all the way back up here where, we, where you would have the drop down from the joists. I just welded this in here. It's ugly. Where is it at? I just ugly welded this in here. And then hooked it all together with the framing pieces. This piece is almost level. It doesn't have to be because we have a height issue, right? Between the door and the ceiling. Everything has to be kind of condensed. So the same thing over here on the pulleys. I just welded piece to the wall and then bolted and welded the rest together. On this pulley, you can see where I did some grinding. I had to do some grinding to get it to operate correctly because everything's just a little bit more compressed inside the container but I can get a garage door opener it's called a side jack it's made by Chamberlain there's some other ones it'll mount up there and that is on the list of things to do For the center springs, I actually drilled holes and ran screws to the outside only because I didn't want to take all of this apart. This, this all came pre-assembled. Now it's loose. You have to loosen up the tension when you install it and then you have to re-tension it once it's in there. Outside, I'll show you the welds. So 
so here's the welds to get the C-channel to the container. And this is actually the piece that came with the garage door to melt these two pieces together. So basically you just want this straight up and down. And then you figure out your depth from the garage door for your when it closes so it's close. Right? No one puts out the gap is up here. But that, again, that's because of the height issue. You can see it when the door comes down. I'm trying to get my fingers. See how tight it is up there? It's just right on the roof. And then when it comes right here, that's where I had to clearance it because it was rubbing on the pulley. And then when it hits all the way down, This is a better look at the clearance. See, there's not much between the roof or the ceiling of the garage and the top of the door. This is yet to be finished. There's more I can do to seal up this gap and close it all in and this door has to be painted, it has to be cleaned, then painted. And then you can get, I was thinking some siding type material to go here, cover this up, make it look nice. I am not a garage door installer by any means but if you're mechanical you can kind of figure it out I want it to go all the way up like this and that's what I hope the garage door opener is going to get me So could you put a regular garage door opener in here? It would be really tight. I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but if you mount the motor over here, and then you have that track bar running that way, there's almost nowhere to go. So a side jack assembly is about the only way to get a door opener on here. The camera's crooked, so it'll make that straight. So we're talking about the track bar going up for pulling. See, everything's kind of in the way. You can't get above that spring assembly. I mean, it, it could be possible, but literally only got two inches. And I've got like an inch of foam up there for insulation. So side jack's all I'm gonna use. Now then, when it comes to actually installing the door part, those individual panels are pretty light. So I install them one at a time. Put the bottom run on first. And then put the top, the next side on. And then you have to put the pulleys all in there, the runners, the wheels. You have to get the wheels in there get them installed and then just keep stacking it one at a time until they're all installed. I put the cable on and the bottom one, stacked them all up and then came over here you have to loosen this and get a bar in there and tighten up your tension on both sides and then start picking it up until you get it adjusted the way you want it. So I mean you can open it relatively easy. I hope this answers any questions. If not, leave a message and I'll try better the next time.
But today I gotta finish working on this food trailer a little bit. And then I have to get back to work on the Chevy truck. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, stay six feet away, stay well, take care.